So, here we are once again for Darkfall 2 Lights Out, and uh, yet again, just as you do in this game it seems, I've time travelled. I think back to the past thousands and thousands of years, maybe tens of thousands of years, I'm not entirely sure. Or, this is the future, and we've experienced a few ice ages or something, the land has changed, uh, the downfall of humanity, and we're sort of picking up the pieces with this primitive society and settlement here. Either way, whenever we are, we should be around the location where the lighthouse will be, or was, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, we have this to explore. Yeah. <laughs> really wasn't expecting this, it's, it's really quite cool. Anyway, we've had a look at these, um, these eggs down here, and we do get a symbol, so I've taken note of that. Uh, apparently that is very important, I mean, obviously it is. Um, I think they're eggs, right? <laughs> they look like rocks, but I think they're actually edible, yeah. Yeah, they look cracked down there. Uh, some very early or futuristic painting over there, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, okay. Maybe culture is sort of rebuilding or building. Who knows? Anyway. Um, obviously I can go back through the reeds one of these ways to go back to where I saw the animal skins. But let's explore these huts to start with, shall we? So let's go this way. Okay. Am I hungry? I don't think I've eaten in a while. Many, many years. But I, uh, I don't want to steal food. I'm, uh, I'm not that sort of person. Okay. Right. Uh, we've got a bundle of sticks over there. I think I recognize those rocks, actually. So, yeah, I think the lighthouse is at the top of one of these rocks. It's, like, over here. So, yeah. I suppose if we're talking, uh, you know, in regards to 1912, this is probably the same sort of area where I docked my boat. This is kind of weird. Okay, we can uh, we can go that way. Unfortunately, it looks like we can't actually go in. Is that the door? I'm not entirely sure. What is this made out of exactly? Is this like animal skins? Maybe. Let's see. Can we have a look at anything from this angle? No. Yes. Yes, we got the spears. Oh, right. Yeah, so the spearheads are actually in the museum. So I think we are in the past thousands of years. Yeah, okay. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> we don't have the downfall of humanity to look forward to quite yet, I don't think. Okay, over there. Not going to happen. Let's go. Alright, I can actually approach the rocks. Maybe that's what I want to do. Let's have a look at the sticks. Can we do that? No. Get on top of the rocks. No, I guess not. Um, okay, I, I, think, I think what I'm going to do is actually approach the rocks to begin with. What's this? Oh. Okay. Okay, it's some sort of necklace with a microchip attached. I think, or a, like a little circuit board or something like that. Something that probably shouldn't be in this age. Uh, unless... Well, now, now I'm second-guessing myself. Maybe this is the future, and this is a relic from the past. <laughs> Can we actually not... Hang on, there's something else on it as well. Oh god, there's a key. Can we not take this stuff? Can we not take the necklace? That's outrageous to me. I suppose, you know, even Benjamin Parker, he he's seen some shit in 2004, but this is just way above his pay grade. Right. Maybe because I don't know what this key goes to or what this goes to, I can't pick it up, so we're just going to leave that alone, apparently. Fair enough. Okay. We're not going to squeeze over there? No. Uh... Climb the rocks. No, that's not a thing. But we can go through the rocks. Okay, maybe now. Maybe now I'm going to find that bottle that's, like, buried in the sand. <sighs> that's really confusing. And unless there's someone like me who's been, who's been time-travelling before and left some things behind. And they were just sort of collected. And put on a necklace. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep exploring. Ooh. There's some smoke over there. They, they got some fires going? I'm thinking much like 1912 and 2004, we're not going to be seeing any actual people. Uh, that would probably be above the animation in this game, to be perfectly honest. I mean, <laughs> you saw Demarion at the beginning, didn't you? Okay, go that way. Can't go towards the smoke, unfortunately. There's some, um... There's something over there, but I can't get to it. Maybe if I go that other way. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go this way. Alright. 
Oh. Is this the cave entrance? It might be. Yeah, so if we're talking in terms of 1912, looking this way, I think I'm sort of facing the platforms, or I'd be facing that Discovery Center thing in 2004. Shit. Uh, let's just explore the outside to begin with, shall we? Oh, can't turn left. All right. But I can keep going, okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, let's just see how far this goes. Is that it? Uh, I can't climb on the rocks. No, it doesn't look like it, and yeah. Even though that water is shallow, I don't want to go wading through the reeds to uh, God knows where, so... Let's get back this way. Hang on. Okay, we've got like a rock formation up here. Aha, okay. Oh, we can go on top of the rocks. There's a... That's a floppy disk! <laughs> okay, and that's the third item? <laughs> Surely you're not meant to pick these up in order. There's no way. Well, okay. So what's on this floppy disk? Okay, it doesn't say Haddon Industries on it, it's just kind of like blank. I, I kind of wish I had a look at it before I picked it up, actually. I just sort of picked it up out of habit. That's it, though? Okay. Maybe they made a shrine to the floppy disk? <laughs> Is that what that's meant to be? I don't know. Okay, let's let's head back down. That's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, again, can't turn left and right. So, let's go inside. I think. <laughs> right there, there, there must be a way to get back to 1912. This is it. Yeah, and I suppose if I'm here in 1912, I can also go back to 2004. Right? What have we got here? Uh, dog bowls? <laughs> that's what they look like. I'm sure that's that's not what they're meant to be, but yeah. Okay. I wonder. Let me just wade around the water a minute. I'll go in there in a moment. Actually, let's just sort of step into this. I was wondering if that was going to start beeping again, to be perfectly honest. But no, not this time. All right, let's go inside. Okay, let's check the walls. Maybe there's going to be some sort of <laughs> cave drawings or scribblings. I don't know. Maybe some strange symbols. Maybe someone breathing down my neck. Okay, so we've actually gone a lot further than we could before. All right. Oh, shit, it splits up. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. And keep looking to the left and right, just to make sure there's nothing to examine. What the hell? Okay, we've got some bowls up here, it looks like. What is that? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I've seen a drawing of this in in uh, in Drake's cupboard. This, yeah, that that piece of paper that had the one, two, three, four in it, all in different colours. Those those boxes. Oh God. Oh, hell. Malachi. Number four, Dios Malachi? What the? What the fuck is this? What does D-E-O-S stand for? OS is operating system? Maybe? I don't know. Alright. Ah, oh, this is why the uh, the symbols are so important, right? Alrighty then, okay. Uh, maybe those two are right? I think... I think the one that I saw in 19... No. Where did I see it? The one that I saw in 2004. Oh, fuck it. I can't remember. <laughs> the one on the eggs looks like that. The one in the cavern, I think in 2004, looks like that. So there's two more to find? And what's all this? X, Y, Z coordinates? Can't seem to change that. Oh, no, we can. Oh, I see. I see, so they're all buttons, right. Um, let's go through all the dates. 90? I don't think this is 1990, or 1989, or 73. Well, <laughs> what 73 are we talking about? Okay. Um, so 
So we can't write our own data in. We just have to pick from that selected, it seems. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I need to find more information, I think. I'll, I'll come back to this. Leave this place and find your friends in this life or the next. You can free me. Malachi. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> right. Um. I don't know what to say, to be perfectly honest. This is kind of crazy. I I need to I need to free him. All right, yeah, maybe that's the end goal, and I have to do it in whatever year this is, BC or AD. I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, I think we're kind of done with this little section. It looks like we can't actually have a look at anything else but this. Capsule, for lack of a better word. So let's go to the other side of the tunnel. If I can find my way back to the door. There you go. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Let's keep going this way. It looks like there's some more bowls. Right. Okay, this is as far as we go. Let's sort of work back from this. Can we use the lantern? No. What's this? Here we go, here we go. Aha. No? Just clay plates and bowls, I think. Okay, uh, well, that's that's that, I guess. Let's head back. Can we go to the other side, or...? I don't know. I think... if I, Let me just step back. I think I saw some bowls on the floor. There's one right there. It kind of looks like a flower pot, actually, but... Can't seem to interact with it. Maybe if I go back again? No? What are these bowls? Like, down here? It looks like they had something in them. But... Food? Blood? I don't know. Is there some sort of offering? For the capsule? Offering for Malachi? That might be what it is. Strange doorway shape as well. It's very odd. Same with that one. It's just got that little bit sticking out on the right. Is that something to do with the symbols, I wonder? Maybe. Anyway, let's just have a look left and right, like I was doing on the other side, and just make sure there's nothing sort of out of place. <laughs> and those words could not leave my lips without a giggle. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so presumably the same thing. Because there's, there's a rock slide in the way in 1912 and 2004, right? So... Yeah, presumably this is still here, in the future. Maybe if I find a pickaxe or something, I can get to it later on. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I, I think we might be done with this area for now. I haven't heard any beeps or anything. Um, let's... I guess let's go back to town. So it's that way? Yes, it was that way. Okay, and uh, looks like I can go in between these huts here. Can I go inside one of them? I really want to go inside one of them. Not much to look at by the looks of it, but, uh, oh well. Okay. Looks like the uh, the world just ends through those reeds. <laughs> it just sort of cuts off. That's kind of weird. All right. Aha! Here we go. Ah, all right. What's this? Can we... Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, oh this is what I saw from the rocks. Yeah, okay. So, those rocks on the floor behind me... They just sort of like display a path. I guess the tide rises and goes down, so this is just like a good, you know, signal that there's a bridge here. Let's keep going. What are these things? They're just like wooden pillars? What's that? Oh, hang on, here we go. What's this? All right, we've got, well, numbers, I think. Okay, I'm going to start writing these down, because we need numbers for the for the capsule. Maybe this is related. Uh, so, hang on, we got... 
One, one, zero. Anything else? We're not going to go forward in time or back in time anymore, are we? No? Okay. <laughs> I never know when I use these goggles. Okay, what's this? I've got to be honest, I can't wait to visit. Right, so we have a Z, so this 110 that I've collected might have something to do with the, the Z values on that capsule. So presumably I'm going to find X and Y values as well. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm taking away from this. Okay, so that's that. Again? Oh, I see. Oh, one... All right, okay. Yeah, because there was three sets of three digits, I believe, that we had to choose from. So this is... This is 150. Okay. Uh, that appears to be the long and short of it. Nothing there. Those pillars are just like the end of the bridge. But we have three more. Presumably the start of the sequence. 18180. So it's 18011150, I think. Okay, I've just written that down. That's going to come in very handy, I think. Uh, right. And that's that. Can we explore anything else without using the goggles? Maybe something else to examine? Some other rocks that have some weird numbers on them? Or letters? I think that is about that. Okay. Um, let's, let's head back, because it looks like this is a bit of a dead end, honestly. Uh, how did I get here? Was it over here? It's just, I just sort of weighed around the rocks, I guess, yeah. Back here, um, back through these huts. Over here. Right, now let's see. I kind of rushed over here. Maybe there's something else to examine. Looks like a, a, a primitive shield, maybe. Oh. There's that thing again, that rock formation where I found that floppy disk. I need to get back to 2004 as soon as possible. Um. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Yeah, the animal skins. Yep, this is how we made it through. I don't suppose we can sort of work our way through the reeds like a maze, can we? we just have to sort of cross over straight away. Okay, so can we examine any of this? Can we use the goggles around this? I just want to find more numbers and letters now. And maybe more symbols. Okay, so we can't go any further that way. Um, that's that. Right, I'm just thinking, how the fuck do I get out of here? Where did I start? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember seeing that screen. Here? Right. Okay. Okay, okay, brilliant. Um, obviously I'll have to come back later, but we're done with whenever the fuck that was. Let's just, let's just put this down, shall we? Put it down, there you go. Is there actually anything else in Drake's area to have a look at? Just this? I think it's actually just this. Okay, well, there you go. Let's back away. Um, well, well, well. What do I do now? Do I do I rush back down to the cavern to go down to 2004? Or do I inspect every screen in 1912 with the goggles looking for any other activity? I think that's what I'm going to do. But unlike last time, I think I'll edit it down. I'll just show you the highlights because honestly, there's a lot to go through, as you know. You don't want to see me do it all again. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Oh, fantastic! That's another symbol! Right! Again, I'm thinking that's included in the options on the uh, on the capsule thing, back in uh, ancient times. Alright. Um, that's like yellow as well. I think that's meant to be important. But okay. 
Uh, I will note that down later on. Of course, I'm recording that now, so I can just refer to that. So that's brilliant. Okay, so that's that's three symbols down. Okay, still a bit more information to find though. But there you go. Okay, let's keep searching through the lighthouse. What's this? What is this? No way. What? Oh, what? Oh, I just went through the photograph to 2004. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Can I go back? <laughs> Can I go back? Oh, shit. Uh, well, I was kind of halfway through going through 1912. Um, how did I get to... How did I get back to 1912? Oh, I, I, I went down. And I... Here. Yeah, that's right. We were in the <laughs> I went through this. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's continue. What's this? Whoa. What's that? That's not one of the symbols, is it? What is that? It looks like maybe a moving tail or something. A spirit? I, 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 I... Turned it off. How, how do we turn it off? What do we need to do? I'm stuck. <laughs> no joke, I'm actually stuck. I think. Can you help us? I... Oh, I see. I have to talk to it. Oh, my God. Um... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save you. There's no reason for you to be no here. Reason for you to be Not here. now. Not it knows you're here. It knows you're here. It has a task for you. It has a task for you. It knows you. It knows you. It knows your soul. It knows your soul. Does it really? What did Drake discover, or what happened that last night here in the lighthouse? Uh... I want to ask both. Can I do that? Let's let's try the second one first. We were in the crew room. Drake was gone. He had changed, you see. Changed into something bad. Glowing he was. I thought he was a demon. Demons do not exist. Well, I'm not sure. What can I do? What can I do? Please. Help us. Again, be more specific. Please, help us. Okay, I guess I need to say demons do not exist. As I was going up the stairs, I was going up the stairs, and I met a man who wasn't there. A man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. He wasn't there again today. I wish that man would stay away. That man would stay away. Okay, we've got something else. Alrighty then. There's a big old X here. X marks the spot, or X is in X Y Z. I don't know. I actually don't know. Now, if I put my cursor right in the middle, fifty-six eight, thirty-nine eight. It's not matching up with the numbers that I found on those plaques. So, yeah, maybe that theory I can just sort of throw away. I'm not entirely sure, but X. Okay. Let's keep looking around. The fair weather work box, that's it. No? Wasn't there something else back here as well? Yeah. 1912. Right! Ah! I know, I know you. I know you so well. I know you from before. And from the time of the after time. Let all your kind you are. Is that it? Are you done? Okay. I like the way he calls me Matt Man. That's kind of cool. But here we are. I think that X was referring to the X coordinates. 160, 140, 0, 090. Well, or, or maybe a combination of those numbers. That's what I wrote down. Maybe it's something else. But um, I want to say that was one of the options. And that makes this book make sense. That's why it exists. That's why I can have a look at this screen. Right. Great. Absolutely great. Uh, okay, so... In here. Yeah. Ah, the storeroom has a purpose as well. Oh. Do you see him, Do you see him? Do you see him? There's a man. 
I can see him. He's looking straight at me. <laughs> Look! Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. Do you know who I am? Or I cannot see. Do you know who I am? Did Drake send you? Uh, and I'm here to help. Why are you looking for us? Looking for us? There's no hope for us. No hope for us. Shits and giggles mainly. Um, yeah, where is Drake right now? Drake went mad. He went mad. He went mad. All alone. All alone. And scared. And scared. I know what he found. he found. I know his name. I know his name. He's here now. He's here now. Listening to what we say, no doubt. And that's the end of that conversation, right? These goggles are just like a godsend. They're making this game so much more interesting. I'm getting another beep. Oh. No, no, what is going on? Somebody said there was something up with this archway when I commented about it in like video two. What's what what just happened? What just happened? We've done it again! Alright. Well, I know where this is. When is this? How many time periods do we explore in this game? It really is very ambitious when you think about it. Uh right. Okay, so that's how I that's how I get back, I guess. That's how I get back into the 1912 boiler room. All right, we'll put um, we'll put 2004 on hold, even though I do want to go back up to the top of the tower and and have a look at the uh, the sort of lighthouse light housing. Okay, so I don't think we've gone back in the past, or maybe we have. In comparison to 2004, maybe this is when it was in disrepair in between 1912 and 2004, or. Well, I don't know if it ever reached this state. The tide has, has risen a little bit. Global warming? Maybe it's this in the future. What is that? It's a big old hole. Uh, okay. Let's just have a little look around. Let's go through this, this doorway here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nothing in the water? No? Okay. Right. Oh, the staircase is here. Wait, that didn't... The staircase was removed in 2004, so it's got to be, like, maybe this is the 60s or the 70s or something. Just before someone got in and uh, refurbished this place. I'm not sure. What on earth? Uh, alright. So, yeah. This way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm just looking out for beeps, I'm looking out for anything I can read. Something with a date on it would be nice. What's this? Alright. Uh, we can go... We can go through here? Yeah, we crawl through. D-E-O-S, that's what it said on that capsule thing. Highly flammable, no smoking or, or naked lights. Wait, is this the area? Is this the cavern area? I... What's the... Hang on. I... I saw something. I see some... What the fuck? Uh, oh, okay. I... What's this? I don't like the look of this. That looks like it might be... Dynamite or something. Highly flammable, no smoking. Right, I don't know what the fuck that's about, but I don't have anything to do with it. Uh, let's go this way. Okay... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sort of breaking that rule. This is an elevator? Right, okay, now I'm not so sure. This doesn't seem like the 60s or the 70s, because this didn't exist in 2004, so maybe... Yeah, this is... This is in the future. We can go up or down. Where are we going to go? Down? Uh... I, I guess down? Can we have a look? Uh, oh, down doesn't look too good. <laughs> I, I guess I still have my lantern, which still doesn't fucking work when I need it to. Okay, where's that ladder? Let's let's go down. Let's see how far down we can go. Oh wow. Wow, what is down here? Okay. Oh, oh this is the top of the lift? I think. All right. Uh, can we can we go down there at all? Oh yeah, it looks like we can actually move forward towards it at the very least. Do we do we need to fix the lift now? I don't even know what a lift really is, at this point. I mean, this is uh, all automated and everything. Dios. 
Gerard Magnus, a base engineer. Right, can I pick up any of his tools? No, not his fucking badge. Something in here. Maybe. Yes. What is this? I have no idea what that is, but it looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> it probably isn't, but I'm sure it's going to come in handy in some way, shape, or form. Some sort of engineering tool? Um, it, it, well, it's got... I don't know, it could be something with a laser? I don't know. Maybe I'm not too far off in saying it's a lightsaber. <laughs> and what's this? Uh, oh boy. Okay, it's on some sort of network. Or it's trying to connect to the network. Ah, huh, here we go. Service report. Okay, essential elevator work. There is substantial damage to upper level of ele elevator following miscalculation made during minor explosive operations in the west shaft. That, that was dynamite, or something similar. Estimated time for repairs is six days, based upon the fitting of new drive unit using laser screwdriver. Maybe that's what that is. Okay. Is that it? I, okay, I guess that's it. What about this yellow box over here? Yeah, this is very fancy, very futuristic. Maybe that's just like the control panel for the uh, for the elevator. God, this is weird. Can we, uh, can we actually not... Oh, can we go down? We can go down! Here we go, then. This is really exciting. And this is insane. I'm liking the chances this game is taking, actually. I actually... Maybe I prefer it to the journal now. I don't know. Before it was maybe just tailing a little bit behind, but... What's this? Maria Ortega. Okay, and it looks like another tablet. Another report, maybe? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> I want to know more. Come on, when are you ready? Oh, right, I had to click. <laughs> uh, okay, dark DOS. It's dark down here. Too damn dark. I can't see what's new and what's being shipped back. This job got a hell of a lot worse since Corbin's 10 million pound mishap four days ago. He lost the latest probe. Is that what it is? It's a probe, maybe? Back in time? Back those several millennia ago? Uh, anyway, the elevator is out of order. Magnus is on it. I should be happy for the company, but Magnus gives me the creeps. He's been in that shaft for days now. He's singing to himself. Some sort of poem. There's more? Explosion. Oh shit. 2090. I just paid attention to the date. 2090. Holy shit. Uh, what's he doing? Magnus has blown a chunk out of the upper shaft. That cannot possibly have anything to do with the job at hand. I'm going to report him. What's beyond that shaft, anyway? I took a peek when Magnus was away. It looked like a structure. Was there a building on this old rock once, long ago? Yeah, there was. A secret place. Yes! There was a building. I was talking with uh, Vimal last night in the crew room. He's got books, papers, and data logs which reveal that a lighthouse once stood here. How quaint. It must have been quite a piece of engineering over 200 years ago. I might take a look at that room again, beyond the crumbling wall. Magnus may have found a historic site. It's a strange place. I didn't feel alone. Okay, an unnatural cold. There's a chill in these corridors. Yeah, yeah, it's dark, damp, and rusted, but there's something else. Shifting shadows. Ever since I went into that room. It was brick. Real brick. The place felt ancient and derelict. The space in mostly flooded, but you could still get a sense of the people who once worked there. Keepers? Yeah. That's what they called them. Yeah, lighthouse keepers. Okay, so she's she's got like half the story, it seems. Wow. So that thing that went missing, I think was somehow sent back in time? <laughs> I I don't know. I I just don't know at the moment. Um, alright. I don't like the look of that symbol over there. It looks like it might be like radiation or something. Okay, looks like there's nothing to examine to the left and right here. Just a load of boxes, which I can't interact with. One. Okay. <laughs> Am I playing System Shock 2 now or something? Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it now. Just based on the look. Okay, why are there two doors? Oh, is this an airlock of sorts? Right. 
Ben doesn't know what's going on. I don't really know what's going on. But this is interesting. This is exciting. Oh, hell. Alright. Guys, I think this is where I'm going to leave this sixth video. Thank you very much for watching Dark Fall 2 Lights Out. We'll continue exploring the future and maybe go back to 2004 or 1912 or ancient times next time in part 7. Thanks for watching, see you then. What's this? Ah. Uh, that's a... that's a floppy disk! <laughs> okay, and that's the third item? <laughs> Surely you're not meant to pick these up in order. Maybe there's gonna be some sort of... cave drawings or scribblings, I don't know. Maybe some strange symbols. Maybe someone breathing down my neck. No way! What? Oh, what? Oh, I just went through the photograph to 2004? Oh, I didn't want to do that! Can I go back? <laughs> Can I go back? Oh, shit! What, what just happened? What just happened? We've done it again! Where are we gonna go? Down? Uh... I, I guess down? Can we have a look? Uh, oh, down doesn't look too good. <laughs> I, I guess I still have my lantern, which still doesn't fucking work when I need it to. Oh, can we go down? We can go down! Here we go, then. This is really exciting. And this is insane.